Hi friends, welcome to Shiva Sai for you Basic Electronics YouTube channel. So this is the first video for the subject called Basic Electronics and Communication Engineering. So as per VTU syllabus, I will be uploading video lectures. Okay, the subject code is 21ELN14R24. So I am going to start with uh, module 1. So I will be uploading videos lectures in a sequence, module 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like that. So in module 1, there are four major topics. First one is called power supply. Second is amplifiers. Third topic is operational amplifiers. And fourth topic is oscillators. So let me concentrate in detail about uh, power supply topic. So in the power supply topic, there are several subtopics are there. In that first topic is block diagram. So I will be uploading uh, by writing the class number here. I request all my viewers watch the lectures as per uh, the particular class number. Okay, got it. So, if you still not yet subscribed to our channel, please uh, subscribe to our channel. So, motivate me to do the uh, videos and uploading in a regular basis. So, I need a lot of encouragement from my viewers. Okay, to do the video lectures. So, let's start with the block diagram. See what block diagram? Power supply block diagram. See, most of the electronic circuits uh, operates at DC voltages. Okay, but available voltage. Uh, is AC. So with the help of that uh, AC voltage, we want to get DC voltage. Okay. For that purpose, we have to design a power supply circuit. Okay. In order to get DC output voltage. Okay. Got it. So for the based on this particular topic, the question asked in university examination like this: With the neat diagram, you explain the working of DC power supply. Okay. And also mention the principal components used in each block. So ask it for 7 marks. Okay. So let me uh, start. Concept is input is AC, output is DC. But available voltage is high voltage AC. See this high voltage AC may be single phase 230 volt 50 hertz or three phase 415 volts 50 hertz or maybe much higher voltage also. So for uh, first year purpose we can consider voltage levels will be 230 or 450 volts. Okay. Otherwise, you need not to write. Let me take high voltage AC. So now I want to convert this high voltage AC into low voltage AC. For that, the suitable component is step down transformer. Okay. With the help of the suitable turns ratio in a transformer, we can get the required output in the secondary winding. So we can get secondary winding voltage more than primary winding voltage or lesser than primary winding voltage. But we need a low voltage. Okay, got it. For low voltage, we have to take step down transformer. If we need a high voltage, then if you get this voltage more than this voltage base, then you have to write step up transformer. So that is not required. Finally, we require low voltage DC. So that therefore that purpose we use step down transformer. What it will do? It converts high voltage AC into low voltage AC with suitable turns ratio in a transformer. Okay. Now, this low voltage AC, this low voltage AC is given to the rectifier. So, what rectifiers will do means, it converts AC voltage into DC voltage. Input is AC, output will be DC. So, this rectifier circuit, we are going to convert low voltage AC into low voltage DC. This is low voltage DC, but it is not pure DC. It is pulsating DC or unsmoothed DC. Now, this output of the rectifier circuit is given to the uh, reservoir or smoothing filter. Okay, what this will do means whatever the ripples content con uh, contains in this unsmoothed DC waveform, uh, that ripples are get uh, eliminated with the help of this reservoir circuit. Okay, so output of the reservoir will be output of the reservoir will be smoothed DC sorry, smoothed DC voltage. Now this voltage is given input to the voltage regulator. Output of the voltage regulator is regulated DC supply. Means if any variations in the load if any variations in the load current and also any variations in the mains input voltage the output will be remains constant. The output voltage remains constant irrespective of variations in load current as well as input mains voltage. Got it? 
that is the regulator DC. So if you write this part, okay, they are going to allot, okay, two marks, okay, two marks for this entire diagram. Next is they are asking also mention the principal components used in each block. See, in order to get this step down transformer, which component? I want to write transformer only. So step down means see transformer there are two windings. This is primary winding. You write to two lines, okay. That indicates magnetic induction, and secondary you write less number of turns. Okay, more number of turns is high voltage, less turns low voltage. Okay, this is the block, principal block. Okay, principal component in the block. Got it? Transformer. So rest everything will be same. High voltage AC. I am going to write waveform like this. So high voltage AC. Got it? This is input to the transformer. Output is what low voltage AC. So we get low voltage AC. Okay, low voltage AC we got. Now this low voltage AC is given to where rectifier. What is the principal component in the rectifier? Diodes. Okay. So how to write that uh, circuit inside this block? Mark four dots. Okay, mark four dots like this, like a rhombus shape. So now you write diode like this. Okay, this is cathode and this one is, this is anode and this is cathode. You group all cathode, sorry, anode to one side. Okay, this is anode and that side is cathode. Group all anode into one side. Next, cathode. Connect all cathode into other side. See, now another end is connected with cathode terminal. Okay, this is called bridge rectifier circuit. You have to write the principal component in that block. Got it? So, if input is input is a low voltage AC, what you will get output? You will get output is unsmoothed DC. Okay. See, the waveform of unsmoothed DC will be like this. Like this. Still, it is having ripples. AC component is there. And this AC component is getting eliminated by reservoir circuit or smoothing filter. So generally filter means capacitor. So the principal component here will be capacitor. Okay, the principal component is capacitor. See, input to this reservoir circuit is this waveform. Okay, this waveform. This waveform is what? Unsmoothed DC or pulsating DC. So this waveform is given input to this filter high value of capacitance, if this capacitor value is very high, then output we are going to get smooth to the DC, okay, smooth to the DC, smooth to the DC means this waveform, okay, and this voltage is given to the voltage regulator, see voltage regulator may be having some transistorized uh, regulator, okay, it may be a transistor or it may be a zener diode, okay. Zener diode. Okay, got it. These are the principal components comes under voltage regulator. Okay. So then output of this regulator will be constant voltage. Okay. You write this voltage lesser than this one. Okay. Let this magnitude is, let me take around uh, for 10 volts. Then you have to write this with magnitude of 5 volts like that. See, concept is regulated. Regulated DC is Output voltage remains constant in spite of variations in both the load current and also incoming mains voltage. If any variations here and any variations in the load current, the output voltage remains constant. That is the speciality of voltage regulator. And it is also called stabilizer. It is also called stabilizer. We are using the stabilizer uh, in old uh, CRT televisions. Okay. Because uh, CRT televisions require constant input voltage, for such for such cases we can use stabilizer. Okay, got it, guys. So if you return this uh, block diagram for this, they are going to allot three marks. Okay, two marks for this uh, diagram, and what is inside? Which what is the major principal block? Writing that block for that uh, three marks will be there, and you are requested to write this waveforms. In first you write, okay. Uh, Statements, high voltage AC. In waveform, you can write like this. Low voltage AC, like this, you write. 
pulsating DC write with the uh, AC component negative half cycle is there now you remove that and write it this side okay and smooth to DC you remove the ripples see one minute there still even though by using the reservoir circuit still there will be ripples will be there still there will be ripples okay still there will be ripples so even so slight variations in the ripple thus uh, this voltage regulator will take care okay got it understood guys so and explanation for explanation uh, two marks what explanation you should write about step down transformer it converts i voltage ac into low voltage dc rectifier convert ac to dc reservoir circuit converts okay what it will do reservoir circuit it going to eliminate the ripples in the uh, unsmoothed dc waveform okay whatever the ripples here it going to remove the ripples means ac component it going to remove the ac component okay that is the output of the smoothed dc okay see ac component is removed only magnitude is taken only magnitude is taken got it and output of voltage regulator is constant voltage got it so here you should write a key point output of voltage regulator is regulated dc that maintains constant output voltage in spite of any variations in load current as well as mains input voltage got it output voltage remains constant and this voltage we can give to the electronic components okay understood guys so please do like our video share this video to all your friends okay and tell them to subscribe in next video i'm going to explain rectifier in detail in detail we are going to learn all this uh, circuits got it so take care bye bye